This is a big step today because we are in front of the winter release. It's almost on um, coming to the air and we have really a lot of new things that will be a part of this winter release. I would like to talk about three of them. Um, the first big thing of course is our new editor. We have shifted from the pixel based um, editing process you may know from spaces to a vector based processing which is called the Mont. This is our editor which is the French word for the world where you can edit your in environment environment in a vector based format you have access to the open street map data where you have shape information about buildings about vegetation you have direct access to open topography which um, enables you to get the nasa um, digital terrain information for every space every location on the world with a resolution of 10 meters so you don't have to care about anything you just press the button and then you will have all the data automatically in your editor and then it's very easy to generate ambient models from any resolution you like from big to small and it doesn't matter if you change your mind to say I want to have a two meter resolution I want to have a one meter resolution it's just one click away you don't have to redo anything this is the one big really big thing the second big thing of course we have is facade greening everybody talks about facade greening uh, rooftop greening um, as well and it was hard to do that in Envimet because we have plants we have trees and what you needed to do before was to place a tree actually in front of your facade to somehow organize a thing we could imagine as a facade greening now everything has changed we have programmed a very new module of facade greening it's a very complex module it's based on our soil model it is based on our plant model we have in Envimet and we put all the best things together from the soil model, from the plant model, so allowing you to model a very thin layer of vegetation on the roofs, on the facades, including a substrate. You can have a, also a substrate which is mounted to some artificial surfaces. We use our wall model so that you have a very sophisticated information what's going on on the facade, on the substrate, on the wall behind the substrate. So it's a very sophisticated new tool and I'm very excited to present that to you um, in the next weeks, in the next months, because there's so much stuff that is going to come that we really we need months to introduce all the things. So it will be very exciting. And uh, the third big thing um, is the connection to the outside world. You have this now the chance to integrate external climate data into your Envimet simulation. So before we had this thing which called simple forcing which allows you to have a 24 hour cycle of temperature and humidity but all the other things have been stayed the same. The wind direction didn't change, the wind speed didn't change and also you had the chance to do a longer simulation period. So now it's changed. You can put in data you have measured, you can put in data from larger scale models like Verve or some other mesoscale models and run the Envimet model under these conditions you have pre-calculated from some other software. Also we will add a lot of new tools to the Envimet software suite to analyze weather data. You can directly inload input um, energy plus weather files, um, test reference years in Germany or uh, some other reference data to generate your Envimet simulations. So really a lot of things, the winter release will be the first stone on a big building and there will be a lot of stones in the next month, in the next years that will build up on the new fundamentals we have.